In the world of super tall skyscrapers, there's a thin line between highly ambitious and downright fictitious. More often than not, proposed mega-tall buildings end up on the wrong side of that line. In today's video, we'll take a look at the tallest skyscrapers ever proposed, examining why some were too bold, too expensive, or simply too outrageous, and whether any of them still stand a chance of being built. These include a skyscraper planned to be built on the ocean, an insane structure that would dwarf the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, and a tower planned to surpass Mount Everest in height. Here's a 3D comparison of the tallest skyscrapers ever proposed. To start with, let's take a look at the famous Jeddah Tower, Azerbaijan Tower, and the Burj Mabarak Al-Kabir. They may be the smallest on this list, but this trio of super-tall skyscrapers was some of the first to ever attempt to surpass the 1,000-meter height mark. They were announced around the same time as a response to Dubai's Burj Khalifa, which began construction in 2004 and reached a total height of 828 meters six years later. The Burj Mubarak Al-Kabir was the first of the three to be announced in 2008. The $1.2 billion skyscraper would measure 1,001 meters in height and consist of three interlocking structures with vertical ailerons to redirect wind and minimize structural noise. It was planned as the centerpiece of the Madinat al-Harir project, a $132 billion visionary development aimed at transforming Kuwait into a global business and tourism hub. The tower would have 234 floors, accommodating approximately 7,000 people, and will include residential, hotel, and office spaces. As of recent reports, the project is still in the proposal stage, with plans to commence construction in the coming years. The estimated completion date is around 2035, aligning with Kuwait's Vision 2035 development plan. Three years after Burj Mubarak Al-Kabir was announced, Saudi Arabia decided to join in the race to 1,000 meters with its famous Jeddah Tower. You probably already know about this skyscraper since it has been a topic of great controversy over the years. This mega-tall skyscraper located in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, had an estimated cost of $1.2 billion and would be the centerpiece of Jeddah Economic City. Construction began in 2013, but progress faced delays due to funding, labor shortages, and political challenges. The project has been on hold since 2018, with the core structure reaching approximately 252 meters before work was suspended. Despite these setbacks, occasional reports suggest the project may resume, though no definitive timeline has been set. Check out our video about the Jeddah Tower if you're interested in knowing more about the rise and downfall of the project. The announcement of the Burj Mubarak Tower and Jeddah Tower started to make other nations want to build higher and higher. That's when Azerbaijan announced its $2 billion Azerbaijan Tower in 2012. This skyscraper was planned to be built in the ambitious Caspian Islands project a man-made archipelago off the coast of Baku, Azerbaijan, aiming to compete with Dubai's luxurious Palm Islands. At a height of 1,051 meters, Azerbaijan wanted to make sure its tower would become the tallest skyscraper in the world, even if any other proposed skyscraper would be completed. Construction of the tower was planned to begin in 2015 and be completed by around 2019, However, it never moved forward after its announcement and was eventually canceled. Today, the Khazar Islands are largely deserted. With the one-kilometer title still up for grabs, Egypt joined the competition with its own ambitious skyscraper, Oblisco Capital. Standing at a projected height of 1,000 meters, it's set to become one of the tallest buildings in the world. The tower was announced back in 2018 by the Egyptian architectural firm IDIA with a unique shape that resembles a pharaonic obelisk. With an estimated cost of $3 billion, Oblisco Capitale is envisioned as a mixed-use development, featuring 210 floors that would house residential units, hotel apartments, shops, and restaurants. 
creating a vibrant urban hub. The project also incorporates sustainable technologies to minimize its environmental impact. Oblisco Capitale is planned to become the centerpiece of Egypt's new $45 billion administrative capital, an integral part of Egypt's Vision 2030 initiative. Today, the skyscraper remains in the site preparation stage, with construction expected to commence in 2025 and completion targeted for 2030. Next on the list is one of the most ambitious megaprojects ever proposed in Dubai, the Dubai Ziggurat Pyramid. Announced in 2008, its design drew inspiration from the pyramidal-stepped temples of ancient Mesopotamia. This $150 billion project envisioned a 300-floor pyramid capable of accommodating over 1 million people, featuring residential, commercial, and recreational spaces. It was planned to be entirely self-sustainable, powered by natural energy sources. Standing at a towering height of over 1,200 meters, the skyscraper would have dwarfed the Great Pyramid of Giza. However, this project proved to be too ambitious even for Dubai, as no further updates were ever published since its announcement. Let's continue to another of Dubai's record-breaking attempts, the Dubai Creek Tower. Standing at a projected height of over 1,300 meters, it was set to surpass the Burj Khalifa when it was announced in 2016. Designed by Dubai's MR Properties, the tower's design features a slender, elegant structure with a unique futuristic twist. Estimated to cost around $1 billion, Dubai Creek Tower is planned as a mixed-use development, with residential, commercial, and leisure spaces spread across its towering 130 floors. Positioned at the heart of the Dubai Creek Harbor development, the tower is a key component of Dubai's ongoing plan to shape its future as a global city. While construction has faced delays, the tower is still under development, with its completion expected sometime in the coming years. However, according to the latest reports, the tower's height has been reduced to be less than the height of Burj Khalifa. That being said, the initial thought is enough to secure a spot on this list. The next one on the list is as crazy as it is tall. The Sky Mile Tower in Tokyo, standing at a projected height of 1,700 meters. This tower would be built on a floating platform in the middle of Tokyo Bay. The $5 billion skyscraper was announced in 2017 as part of the Tokyo Bay Mega City development. The sleek, futuristic design features gaps that allow wind to pass through. In addition, the tower will be able to withstand natural disasters, with a focus on resilience against earthquakes and typhoons. It's planned as a mixed-use complex, featuring 350 floors of residential spaces, offices, retail, hotels, and observation decks. The tower would be a central part of a new urban district and is also envisioned as a model of sustainability incorporating advanced green technologies. While construction has not yet begun, the project remains part of Japan's long-term urban development plans with completion expected in the 2040s. Heading back to the Middle East, Saudi Arabia has announced its most recent mega-project, a two-kilometer-high skyscraper called Rise Tower. We've created a dedicated video about this tower where we discuss every detail of the project. Announced back in 2022, Rise Tower aims to become the world's tallest building surpassing the Burj Khalifa by an incredible 1,172 meters and doubling Saudi Arabia's earlier record attempt with the Jeddah Tower. Not much is currently known about the tower's specific design. However, it's planned for the city of Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, with an estimated cost of $5 billion. Rise Tower is planned to be built in a 306-square-kilometer area in northern Riyadh called the North Pole Project, which is a planned mixed-use real estate development dubbed as City of the Future. This is where things get a little crazy. Back in 2009, Dubai announced the Dubai City Tower, a visionary skyscraper planned to reach a staggering height of 2,400 meters triple the height of the Burj Khalifa. 
Inspired by the Eiffel Tower, the structure was engineered to withstand the intense winds at high altitudes. Dubai City Tower would have 400 floors and a high-speed vertical bullet train, traveling at 200 kilometers an hour, serving as the main elevator. Despite its bold and futuristic concept, the project never progressed beyond the announcement stage and today remains a fascinating vision. Next up on the list is the third tallest tower ever proposed, the Ultima Tower in San Francisco, California. Announced in 1991, this staggering structure was envisioned to reach an extraordinary height of 3,218 meters. With a design inspired by the African termite mounds, the Ultima Tower was designed to feature 500 floors and accommodate up to 1 million residents, functioning as a self-sustaining vertical city. While not much is known about the project, it was intended to be eco-friendly, utilizing advanced sustainable technologies. The estimated cost of construction was an insane $500 billion, making it one of the most ambitious architectural proposals in history. At this point, we've reached heights that are almost beyond imagination. To truly understand the scale we're talking about, let's compare the Ultima Tower to the Burj Khalifa and other skyscrapers we've mentioned earlier. That being said, there have been proposals to build even higher, like this mega-tall skyscraper called the X-Seed 4000. The X-Seed 4000 is a conceptual skyscraper proposed for Tokyo. Its design is inspired by Japan's legendary Mount Fuji, but at a height of 4,000 meters, the X-Seed would stand 224 meters taller than Mount Fuji. Announced in 1995, this $800 billion project would serve as the centerpiece of a new urban development. Designed with a lattice framework similar to the Eiffel Tower, it would provide stability and resilience against natural disasters like earthquakes and typhoons. The 400-floor tower would combine residential, commercial, and recreational spaces, forming a self-sustaining vertical city. To protect its occupants from extreme air pressure changes, the higher floors would be pressurized like an airplane cabin. Today, the X-Seed 4000 remains a visionary project. Now, for number one on this list, we have the Tokyo Tower of Babel. This insane structure was also planned for Tokyo, Japan back in 1992. At an insane height of 10,000 meters, the tower would not only be the tallest building in the world, but also have the highest point on the Earth's surface, surpassing Mount Everest by more than one kilometer. The tower would feature 1,250 floors, with a capacity to house up to 30 million people. It's estimated that the tower would take 150 years to build and cost $22 trillion, almost the entire United States GDP. This is how the Tokyo Tower of Babel compares to every other skyscraper mentioned on the list. While many of these projects may never be built, they still capture the imagination and push the boundaries of what's possible in architecture. What do you think? Do you think any of these concepts have a chance of ever becoming a reality? If you want to know more about Saudi Arabia's plans to build the world's tallest skyscraper, check out our video about Rise Tower. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.